Dear students, now we are going to solve one important problem in pointing vector. Pointing vector is the cross product of electric field and magnetic field in density. The first problem explain the significance of pointing vector for a uniform plane wave propagating in a lossless medium in z direction. The electric field is given as E of z is equal to x cap e naught e power minus j beta z. Find the pointing vector. So here in this question, the first part is to explain the significance of pointing vector. The next one, we are going to find out the pointing vector for the given electric field. Okay. So in the solution part, first we have to write the significance of pointing vector. So here the pointing vector is the cross product of electric field and magnetic field in densities. So here it represents the rate of flow of energy per unit area. So simply we can say it is a measure of the rate of energy flow per unit area. Here the direction represents the direction of energy flow. So this pointing vector simply represents the power density of the uniform plane wave. Okay. So next we are going to find out the pointing vector for the given medium. So in this one they have given us the electric field intensity E of Z is equal to X cap E naught E power minus J beta Z. So in this one E of Z means the wave is propagating in the Z direction. Electric field is in X direction. Correct. Then what about the magnetic field? It is in y direction. As we all know that if the electric field is in x direction, then the magnetic field is perpendicular to this electric field. So it should be in the y direction. So we can write h of z is equal to y cap h naught e power minus j beta z. So here h naught is the magnitude of that magnetic field in density. Beta is the phase shift constant. So x and y represent the direction. So next we are going to find out the pointing vector. So for that we can take the cross product of E and H. So here we can take this cross product x, y, z. The x component is E naught e power minus j beta z. There is no y component as well as z component. So for this H vector it is having only the y component. So we can write x component as 0, y as h o e power minus j beta z, z as 0. Then we can take this matrix product. So here x of 0 because the cross products become 0. Correct. So minus y of here this one is also 0 plus z of here we can take the product of this two e naught e power minus j beta z multiplied with this h naught e power minus j beta z minus 0. Correct. So here we can take that value as such z cap e naught e power minus j beta z h naught e power minus j beta z. So this two can be written like this e power minus j to beta z. Okay. So as we all know that the relation between e and h as here we can write eta is equal to 120 pi. Since it is a lossless medium, we can take the characteristics impedance as 120 pi that is equal to E by H. Okay. From this we can write H is equal to E by 120 pi. We can substitute this value in this expression. So instead of H naught, we can write E naught by 120 pi. So this can also be written as Pointing vector is equal to z cap e naught squared by 120 pi e power minus j 2 beta z. Since it represents the power flow, we can use the unit watts. Do you all understand this one? The next problem, a linearly polarized plane wave propagates through free space at an angle theta with respect to the normal to a plane circular surface on xy plane. If the peak amplitude of E vector is 10 millivolt per meter, 
calculate the average power that passes through 1 meter squared surface. So in this problem they have given us the linearly polarized plane wave propagates through a free space with an angle theta. Okay, so the peak amplitude of electric field intensity is 10 millivolt per meter that can be written as 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 volt per meter. Okay, so they have also given the surface area as S is equal to 1 meter square. This can be written as A as well. Okay, so here we are going to find out the pointing vector. Okay, so here P is equal to E cross H. So in this one they have given only E. So we need to find out H as we know that the relation eta naught is equal to E by H. We can get the value H is equal to E by eta naught. So E is 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 120 pi. Okay. So here we can simply substitute this E and H values in this pointing vector. Then we can get the pointing vector that is power is equal to 100 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 120 pi watts. But what's the question? Calculate the average power that passes through 1 meter squared surface. So for that we can take the integration over the surface of 1 meter squared. Then we can use this integration. We can get the answer as 2.65 in 10 to the power minus 7. Correct. So here the surface area is nothing but 1 meter square. So we can get the answer like this. In this problem the plane wave propagates through free space at an angle theta. Correct. So with respect to the normal to a plane. So normal to a plane means we can consider the angle also in this power flow. So here the average power is equal to 2.65 into 10 to the power minus 7 cos theta. You will understand why do we use this cos theta? Here the wave is propagating at an angle theta with respect to the normal. Okay. So that's why we are using the normal angle cos theta. Okay.